gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You look cute you all the know. time. Hi! Oh shit. Who the fuck? He hello. I'm leaving now. Wait, where the fuck? Chloe, where the hell did you go? Chloe? Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm moving. Why are you just walking? I'm pushing shift and you're not like there's no urgency. What you doing? Let's go. Are you shitting me? Really? What the fuck is going on? Bruh! Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Nowhere! Hello! Not in here, if that's what you're thinking. Alright, fine. New plan. I'm just gonna avoid him and hope he doesn't see me. Move a little faster, Max. I'm trying to get a view. Hi! I can't find anywhere to hide, so... Uh, I don't... Anybody there? No. Oh, cheer! Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Where, where are you? something over here. Oh, up, 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 I'm out. I'm out. Peace. See ya. Hey. Shit! Nope, no one's here. That legitimately scared me. Oh man. What? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Serious. He's probably something over here. He's probably got a stick. Who's here? No one. I got I got a flashlight and a stick. See, I told you. No one's here, bro. Brother, friend, amigo. Is he gone? Yes! Okay, I'm gonna get out of here then. See ya. Wait, t that fucking glitches made the wall disappear. I'm out. See ya. Chloe, I hope you're behind me. No, she's not, but I'm sure she'll be fine. Yep. You're so invisible. Well, that kind of ruined the nice feelings that I was having. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. Stop being so you loud. Can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into car. Okay. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. Ah, uh, they make me so happy. Ah, uh, they have so much. Chemistry connection. I'm sorry if I'm being annoyed with all the shipping and shit, but Jesus. Her being annoying. Did I say annoyed? I don't even know. Uh, he told me not to come by last time, so maybe I can sleep in the closet. Ah, hopefully it works out. And he doesn't, like, slap me across the face or something.
Can't tell if that's in the game or my house. Hello, how does it feel? In the morning. You're gonna smack her in the face stretching your arms out like that. I'm gonna take a selfie with you. I always remember this moment. Photo hog. You're so cute. It feels like a different world from yesterday. He left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is free, but I think we have to walk. I don't want to get up. I just want to watch! God! Oh, that sounds really creepy, but... I'm just gonna enjoy this little moment for a minute. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. Yeah, ma'am. I have to ponder what kind of criminal it becomes. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell Gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. All right. Ugh, I'm getting too involved. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Oh, fine. Hey, Warren, what's up? Glad to see you didn't bl blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll have an extra one, in case you change your mind. We can go, Warren, we could, but it's just gotta be his bros. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Oh, fine. Uh... I want to talk to you a little more. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yeah. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. What? So? Single? So. You never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. It sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have, too. Smart, so sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Yo. Oh, man. Ugh. It still reeks like a chlorine factory. Well, we gotta get dressed though, don't we? Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Oh fuck yeah, we gotta, we gotta take her shirt. I don't think I'll be washing. Oh come on. 
Mosh, let's go. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Fuck yeah! Yes! Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Bruh! Yo! Man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I have so much happiness. Ah, oh, fireworks exploding in my heart. You look pretty awesome. I mean, I can only see like your chest up, but looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's rewind and find out, okay? <sighs> oh, my heart's so happy. So happy. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Because she's in love with you, brah. She has condoms? Don't be a dummy. Cover your willy. That doesn't rhyme. Uh, you should have said, like, don't be a dick. Cover your stick. I don't know. Uh. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. But I got a text from Kate. Uh, and thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I- Wait, that was from the other day. Max, thank you for my heart- or thank you from my heart. Thank you for my heart. Thank you for taking my heart out of the freezer. Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at the school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father's grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, I promise. It's like when we were kids here. I'm on such a fucking high, though. It's so- oh, man, it's- It's really nice seeing that stuff, like, normalized. And I don't know, it makes me happy. Hey, sweetie pie. Just kissed your daughter. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. <laughs> Eggs and fucking bacon, obviously. I was going to say something else, Eggs but... Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I will grab that bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Okay. All right, I, I need to evolve and become a vegan, but move on. <sighs> bacon. Same. Wouldn't the eggs also be in the fridge? Why didn't we take any eggs out? Are they on the counter? No! But, I look at the, okay? I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Well... I mean, my family's had the same fridge for like ten years, so... Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. 
Do we have to, like, squeeze it out of chicken or something? Where the hell are the eggs? There's a bottle of liquids. Who drinks beer this early around here? Chloe probs. <laughs> nah, it's probably what's his name, David. Where the fuck are the eggs? Alright, time to find a chicken. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. jeez, uh, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Was it that uh bird that I saved? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. So don't think about that right now. You're pretty much in a new relationship. It's like infinite. Um Oh, okay, it's in a grocery- I thought that it was in, like, the umbrella th thing. I was like, why the fuck are there eggs in the- The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Okay. Well, we got the eggs that nobody bothered to take out of the grocery bag. Here are the ingredients. Thanks. Yo, After you're all welcome. these years and you're everything welcome. that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Those clothes, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl, girl. Stop repeating your lines. I'm just hoping she's living large in, L large in L.A. Stop doing that. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. She mad at her? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Well, if she's, like, stealing my lady, then fuck yeah. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you... Only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens and a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Cool. I'm ready to have some bacon. I love bacon. It's great. I'm gonna sit here. I really like your flannel, but that's probably because I have that flannel. Why do? We have the same everything close. Should I be peanut butter? <laughs> I'm allergic to peanuts. Get that shit off the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Eat. Let's feast. Number one dad. I wonder if that's from her biological dad. That would be kind of, uh, awkward. Her stepdad comes in and, like, number one dad mug is on the table. What do you... Knock that shit off the table. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I think that it should be non-existent. I that. guess nobody waters the plant here. I'll water the plant. I water my plant. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow and freak apocalypse. Or flake freaky clips. Superhero and survives or saves suicidal black. Again, computer far from my face. I have an excuse. Um Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. 
My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, in fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was, she was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yeah, we totally talk shit. It's not always about you. But yes. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I'm just gonna go pee in the I garage. I need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Mm. All right, read your pages. Um. I'm sorry, I'm reading from my own. <laughs> Though she was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after it says so she'd tell Warren. Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Uh, I do care more about them, I promise. That's not like my whole you aspect of the game. Password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Hmm. Nice. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Love stepdad. I doubt it. That doesn't seem very likely. Huh. Search that. How attractive. Um. I could try the license number for the password. Well, you also said. Okay, let's just look for a bunch of shit. And then we'll go for it all at once. Maybe this ID number might work. Okay. Uh, um. I don't think that there's gonna be a password written on his guns. Let's try that padlock. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. Oh, fuck. My mouse needs to stop disappearing. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Perhaps. Let's see. Willie. Oh, William. I didn't even fucking know him, and I miss him. Search. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Mm, probably some depressing facts. Uh, let's see. Drawer. Oh, I already looked through here. Trophy? 
That's not a trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Gross. Uh... Uh, that. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. There's so many mem- uh, numbers. I almost have memories. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Okay. Look at that. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. What about a knife? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no numbers that we can use. Okay, I guess that there were. Uh, search the sun visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. What was the read? It was an honor having you in the in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen gentlemen still exist. Love to talk to you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce. If you forgot, that's one that that's so cute. That might be a useful password. And he kept it. Adorbs. I really don't think that he's a bad guy. He's just he's got his issues too. Oh. I'll save the army stuff for last, because I don't think- I don't know, with passwords people choose something more personal. So I'll go with personal. I don't remember any of these. Let's try that one. Worst hacker ever. Shit. Uh. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. It's okay. I have unlimited uses. Alright. Let's go for other personal shit. I already did that one. I don't think it's gonna be this one, but I'll try anyway. Nope. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit further so we don't have to deal with that. Alright, well, we'll go for. There's nothing else in personal, is there? No. Well, let's go for family then. I don't think stepdad's gonna be it. That's gonna. That would be weird. Yeah! Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Which one was that? The date they Whoa. got married? Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Well, probably because it's his stepdaughter. Oh, Rachel. I, th I was thinking Chloe. Um, Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at... 235 at Blackwell Academy for possession of controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss... I, I think there should be a comma there. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber... Oh, to cook... Never mind. Who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Again, he's probably not a bad guy, but there's he's got he's really fucking weird. Kate M follows same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W talking about supplies for both Vortex Club parties. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate- well, I mean, she might have been crying. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Or she could have been on her fucking period, dude. Take things into consideration. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. 
don't trust grown men with goatees. Good advice. I don't mean that. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party. Not even church. Drugs? Is everything drugs to you? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Okay, also weird. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. You looking at me too? Max Caulfield. Class schedule, October week two. Weird. Okay. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Let's leave in the direction that the bathroom's in. So there will be no suspicions. And shit, let's take a banana while we're at it. Can't take a banana. Uh... So, Chloe, your stepdad's a freak. Nice breakfast. Did you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Your voice sounds different. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Hey. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber, Hall Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teen like all teenagers. Sorry about the Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Whoa, hey, ho, oh, dude. I don't want to side with anyone. I love Chloe, she's awesome, but I... And I don't... He's got issues, too. Why can't there be a dot 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 button? Like The Walking Dead. <sighs> don't mind, don't bite me in the ass for this, bay. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a sus is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's that's why the students and faculty don't like they don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your respect like your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes. David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always, always stick together. Well, screw you. Oh, David, shit. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? All right. Oh, I th thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked, flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. <sighs> I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Oh no. I hope. I hope they don't split up or something. I really don't want 
more issues, but I had to fucking take a side, and of course I'm gonna take me amigas. What up? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yeah, I, I guess, but... I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Ugh. Chloe, let's bounce. You all right? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I won't. I'm gonna leave now. 